What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com, and I received an email from a designer developer across the web, and they wanted to get my thoughts on what I, um, on my perspective as far as the final finishing up projects and, and the frustration behind the final push to get projects done and out and things like that. And I just wanted to give a little bit of insight with regard to that email. Um, I think it's not strictly prohibited to just designers and developers. I think it could be referenced in any point in your life or in anything that you're um, dealing with in your life. I mentor uh, a young man and I talk to him a lot about this. I, I call it the, the final one to two, one two percent of a project that you're working on. Um, and I like to use the, the um, example of a guy that is looking to get married and he saves up for however long let's they say three to four months for your um, for for the wedding ring or whatever and he saves up and he goes through the process of buying a ring and things like that and then in the final moments of it he doesn't take her to McDonald's and throw the ring across the table and expect to get the same reaction um, that he would if he had just went it went and finished up and you know, took her to a nice restaurant or actually made an, as much of an effort in that last to one, one to two percent as he would have um, or as he did when he went through the process of saving and buying the ring and things like that. So you don't want the final details or the last aspect of whatever project that you're working on to be to diminish all the work that you put into it prior to that. If you're a, a young man and you're or a woman and you're doing the dishes and you're cleaning up the kitchen or whatever and you spend a half hour cleaning up the kitchen and you sweep the floor and you do the dishes and you know you do all of the things that's necessary to get it done and you put a lot of effort into it you clean the microwave and things like that and then you don't just leave water on the counter or crumbs uh, across the table or, or things like that because that's the easy part I mean you know that's the part that polishes and get you the response that you need or the response that you're looking for for all the hard work and effort that you put into it you want to put the polish and the final touches on it and when I work on a project you know I'm a business owner um, I'm also obviously a designer and developer when I'm working on a project the last one to two percent of that project is the most important parts of it because I understand that as hard of, as I've worked on the functionality or um, you know how responsive it is or how well it's laid out how well it's designed and everything from its from its inception all the way up until this point I understand that I don't want everything that I work for to be diminished because that final few hours or that, that, that final part of the project that put the polish and finish and touches on it I slacked off on that part so now it doesn't get as much um, you know recognition as far as how great the project itself is because I didn't put that extra effort into that last part so you know I just want to let people know that you know you want to you know be the type of person that follows through 100% of the time you don't want to be the person that goes to class studies all semester you know months weeks on end and then blow off the final and get a B plus or an A minus just because you didn't want to put the same amount of effort into everything that you put in all those months and that last one or two weeks of the project. You know, follow through and be consistent and complete the task, you know, according to how you set the set the pace in the first, you know, in the first part of the project. I I tell um, you know, people all the time that look that's looking to get married, I tell them, you know, the way you start off is the way you have to finish. You can't set these great expectations and then taper off in the end. You have to, you know, follow through with everything that you've promised and everything that you've um, set forth in motion from the very beginning. So I, you know, I just wanted to give a little bit of insight, something a little bit um, more friendly and, you know, not as intense, you know, as some of the other videos and. You know, if you got questions, comments, and concerns, you know, you can hit me up, um, Anton or Adan at AntonDaniels.com. Um, all of my contact information is on my website, AntonDaniels.com. Um, oh, yeah, and I'll be in uh, July 2014, end of July, I'll be in Nashville 
Tennessee for the Beyond a Desktop Conference. Um, some other dates that I'm working on. Additional to that, I'll also be at the Adobe Max Conference um, in October, early October 2014. So I got a lot of things coming up. I got some seminars coming up. I have some online webinars, um, some classes uh, that I'm doing and things like that. So you'll find out about that as it comes along, as the dates start to approach a little bit more. Um, but if you have any questions, just hit me up. You know where to find me. I'll holler at you later. Peace.